Not many people know that the highest tower in the European Union is located in Warsaw, the capital of Poland. The Warsaw Place complex took its name from Warsaw's Latin name, Varsovia. It's not the first city where you expect this 310-meter-tall skyscraper to show up. With a massive 53 floors, there is a lot to talk about what top secrets there are to be found in the Varsow Tower. We are also going to compare it to the bigger towers in the world, like One World Trade Center in America, and find out on which position the Varsow Tower stands in the ranking of biggest buildings in the world. Can you guess in which place it can be found? And do you know where all these floors are used for? Stay tuned because these top secrets revealed about Europe's tallest tower skyscraper, the Varsow Tower. How tall is this tallest building in the European Union? The Varsow Tower is a three-building complex with a 310-meter main tower and two more buildings, Varsow 1 and Varsow 2, with heights of 81 and 90 meters respectively. Varsow Place has a total area of 140,000 meters squared, which is 10,300 meters squared are designated for commercial activities. The main tower was created by the British architectural firm Foster & Partners, and Varsow 1 and Varsow 2 were created by HRA Architecti. Foster & Partners, which is run by its founder, Norman Foster, is a well-known architectural firm that has completed a variety of projects all around the world. The Gherkin in London and the Hermitage Plaza in Paris are two of the most well-known. The two tallest skyscrapers in the EU after the Varsow Tower are the 56-story Commerzbank Tower, which is 259 meters tall, and the 63-story Trade Fair Tower, which is 257 meters tall. But the World Trade Center, the North Tower, at 1,368 feet, is taller than Varsow Tower. The Varsow Tower is located next to the main train station in the center of Warsaw's core business district. The project is anticipated to bring the brownfield area back to life after being destroyed during World War II and never recovering its former splendor. When the roof of Varsow Tower reached its highest point at 230 meters, it was formerly crowned the tallest structure in Poland. Nevertheless, it currently holds a new record for architectural height thanks to erection of its 80-meter-tall, 73-ton spire. It is being built by the Luxembourg-based real estate development firm H.B. Rivas. When was this building built and what was it meant for? The real estate firm that is constructing the tower purchased the property in 2011, and the building permission for the entire project was secured in December 2016. It was topped out on February 20, 2021 and finished in September 2022. The observation deck was scheduled to open in the first half of 2023. The skyscraper will have a roof height of 236 meters and a total of 53 stories. However, the spire will eventually grow to a height of 310 meters. Yes, the Varso Tower will eventually surpass all other skyscrapers in Germany, France, Spain and the rest of the EU in height. Due to Brexit, the United Kingdom is excluded. However, even in that case, the tower's spire would be 40 centimeters higher than the Shard in London. How did they build this huge skyscraper? During the process of building it, they encountered numerous difficulties. Between 8 and 9,000 meters cubed of concrete make up the foundation slab. Huge amounts of rebar and deep columns join the slab to the diaphragm walls. Together, they form a sealed box, keeping the building's foundation dry. The logistics of this project are challenging due to the several concrete pours needed to construct the foundation slab and the project's location in the city center. So, in order to organize the delivery, they had to develop specific logistics software. Every truck has a deadline and must arrive on time. They have rented buffer parking 500 meters away so that the trucks can wait for their arrival time. They have a somewhat innovative solution, what is known as a climb lift, that can be built on a structure during structural work and expand along with it. They rehang it each week so that it can serve at a higher level. Higher floors have a span of 12 meters from the building's core, compared to lower floors about 8 meters span. Prior to pouring concrete, post-tension cables must be installed within the floor structure as reinforcement for these floors. The level below is poured and the next day the entire system is raised one floor. The carpenters then build a second level, shut the shutters, pour another layer, open the shutters and climb. Additionally, using this method will save crane time. Burrow Happold was in charge of structural and MEP engineering. He carried out a thorough sustainability study for Varso Tower, forecasting the performance of mechanical, electrical and plumbing systems up to three decades in the future and using these forecasts to determine installation. How will they prevent the building from collapsing? One important concern that comes to mind when we see such massive structures is, how can we keep them from collapsing? 
Integrity bars can be used to greatly reduce progressive collapse and prevent punching shear. The first, and perhaps most obvious, is a proper maintenance schedule that includes regular structural component inspection. What is the building used for? The Varso Tower will be used as an office building in addition to having a large amount of space for shops, bars and restaurants. Its internal space is approximately 67,000 square meters distributed over 54 levels and can accommodate 11,817 people. It serves more than 100,000 customers. AstraZeneca, Morgan Stanley, the Metropolitan Police Service of London, Eurostar and others are among them. Businesses including cloud specialist Sparks, global law company CMS and Greenberg Torig will be among the building's users. What secrets are hidden inside this skyscraper? The interior courtyard of Varso Tower will be a calm retreat for guests as well as an inspirational lobby with walls covered in a handmade ceramic mosaic that rise to a height of 10 meters. The social core of the project is an enclosed plaza inside Varso Tower. The skyscraper's main hall has 12 tall trees that were planted as part of an innovative project that started in 2015. The landscape architects then suggested a rare, small-leaved species of Bucida buceris, which is ideal for the Varso Tower's roomy lobby. The native plant, known as the Black Olive or Shady Lady, which thrives in Mexico, Central America, Florida and the Caribbean, will now also excite the staff and visitors of Warsaw's tallest tower. Since the trees are located in a widely accessible area of the office tower, close to the elevators that go to the restaurant and viewing terraces at the top of the building, everyone will be able to enjoy them. The general public can use it to reach adjacent shops and companies, as well as for building tenants to enjoy during breaks. Public access will also be available to a viewing platform on the 53rd floor, which is reached by two panoramic elevators. Visitors will enjoy a fully landscaped terrace bar on the 49th level, breaking the current Warsaw record for the highest garden. Panoramic windows that open up to a stunning view of Warsaw. This neo-modern structure, which is situated in the center of the Polish capital Warsaw, serves as a distinctive hub for tourists, locals and businesses. Then, two public rooftop terraces with breathtaking city views will be reached through panoramic lifts moving at 8 meters per second. They are among the highest in Europe and will be twice as high as the observation galleries in the neighboring Palace of Culture and Science. Floors 46 through 48 will house a restaurant with a view. The triple-bladed high-performance treatment on the glass lowers solar heat gain while catching rainwater for irrigation, and it has a relatively good energy efficiency. This building complies with the green building standard. The vast majority of the structure is already covered with a 4-meter tall glass curtain wall that floods the spacious floor plates with natural light. One of Poland's greenest constructions is Varso Place, the highest outstanding rating possible under the BREEAM international certification process was given in recognition of the project's excellent quality and the standard of sustainable solutions. European LEED is equivalent to BREEAM certification. It was also among the first Polish projects to receive a gold rating under the WELL pre-certification system, which recognizes the beneficial effects of structures on both the mental and physical health of occupants. Barso Tower blends sustainable design with remarkable energy saving, safety and comfort metrics. Because of the energy-saving features incorporated into the design and engineering, the Varso Tower will also house a number of startup companies and regional and worldwide firms. Open plan office operations benefit from large spans and 3-meter ceiling heights on floor plates. Varso Tower is easily reachable from every location in the city, whether by metro, tram, bus, commuter rail or bicycle. Direct access from the lobby to Warsaw Central Station, which provides swift connections to Warsaw Chopin Airport and all significant Polish cities. I hope you have enjoyed this video and please let us know what you think about the Varso Tower as the biggest building in the European Union. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next videos.